Hi there, Chris here. Uh, this is the P.O. box that I use for all the Suki giveaways. And <clears throat> that was video number 90 when I first showed this. So someone asked, uh, if you don't have the combination, can it be decoded or how do you figure that out? So we're going to try and see if I could feel, I know what this combination is, if this person can see into the, uh, we're locked again. Yeah, well, we'll open it. But if the person can see inside, sometimes the combination is scratched on the back. Uh, this one came, someone did actually put a combination on the bottom. But let's see if we can feel the decoding. So first thing I'm gonna do is go clockwise past A one time, two times, three times, and then after I've gone three times, I'm going to put a little bit of counterclockwise pressure on this, just a little bit, and continue to find the first, see if we can find the first number. So it feels a little gritty, and I'm just putting, I'm just really resting on here. I'm not doing much. Gritty, 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 gritty. It's harder, and then I get a click. So I'm gonna assume Fe is the first number. So then we're gonna go counter, I'm gonna leave this alone, go counterclockwise past Fe, and then I'm gonna see, I don't get so much gritty, but I'm gonna see when I get a next, little bit of feeling. Okay, I got a little bit of movement between J and I. Or J, let's see. Yeah, and then it gets hard. So now we know, I happen to know that JA is the next one. So the next process, I'm going to still put a little bit of counter because that's how it opens, and then I'm going to go clockwise and it will, all you have to do is clockwise to your next number. So, and we're at JA, I feel a little bit of movement there. Nope, didn't work that time, so we'll try it again. So I've done three or four or five turns around. I'm gonna feel it, feels a little, I've cleared it, feels a little bit gritty. And then it gets easy at FE. So we're gonna go beyond FE once. And then I'm gonna go, we're going uh, counterclockwise now. I'm still putting a little bit of pressure here. I feel the slightest little clunk, and it's very hard to feel on HI. So we're gonna go with that. Now we're gonna go clockwise to our open. Gets gritty, and I feel a little bit of, a little click, and we're open. So, it's very difficult. I can't tell because I really know where this combination is. I can't tell if I'm really feeling the decoding. I do feel a little bit of, of, of action on all the three of these numbers. If the person uh, has access to the inside, sometimes they're scratched on here. Um, I mean, with this one, you could stick a little camera in here <laughs> and read the back if it's scratch, scratched on there. That's one idea. Uh, mine happened to come with the whoever sold this, set it up, and put this on the back. But that's about the best I can do, and that would apply only to this particular P.O. box. Now, there's all kinds of different ones. Um, I'll put it to Starry to see if he has one like this and see if he can feel decoding because he's 
uh, I know he has post office box and post office box doors. Anyway, I hope that's helpful. It's it's a very fine feel, um, and that's really the best I could do. Uh, good luck with that from um, the person who asked the question. Anyway, if if you know of any decoding videos for this particular style or other styles, maybe the person has another style, because I know there's, there's, I have another door that has two uh, dials. But anyway, any information, put it in the comments. Thanks for watching. Hope you're doing well, Starry, and we will see you next time.